Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to model and rig a simple pickup truck in Cinema 4D or a car if you want to make a car. But the thing I did was a pickup truck. Um, yeah, so here we go. Probably do this in other revisions of Cinema 4D, but I'm not too sure. That's uh, so what I like to do. I like having the black lines like that. I don't know. It's just something that makes me kind of annoyed. So the first thing you want to do is create a cube. Um, my cubes, I like them kind of rectangular shape. And I don't like them being in the grid like that. But the lines kind of annoy me. Uh, and then you're going to want to make it weird. You're going to want to make it editable. Click the plane. Extrude tool. You want to extrude this end out. Not as wide as this piece, but you're still going to want it somewhat decent size. That looks all right. Next up, you're going to want extrude inner. Um, with this, you're going to want to bring it in, not like that, but like this. And you're going to just want kind of like that kind of size. Um, doesn't matter, you can make it your own. And then you're going to want to extrude it inwards. Okay, my mouse is being kind of funny, weird. Uh, it's really strange, it's annoying me. Okay, here we go. I'll extrude that up. Take the edge tool, grab this edge. Don't worry about the height of it, but just bring it back. So this piece right here will be your windshield. I'll bring it back a bit more. Right there, that looks good. Then you're going to want to grab this edge, copy the Y position, copy, and paste, and enter. So then it's flush at the top like that. That's what I like to do. Um, next step will be to Extrude the front, so you're going to want to grab the plane tool, extrude it out, however far you want, however you want your pickup look, that's how you're going to make it. I actually really like the shape, it's kind of high, so I'm going to grab the bottom, I'm not going to perfect it or anything, but it kind of annoys me, kind of annoys me. Okay, yeah, so I think that looks good. Next thing you're going to want to do, as I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail modeling and stuff, but I'll go into some detail how to use some of the tools, like the knife tool. You're going to want to do that, because then you can make cuts across like that and create planes. But yeah, that's not the cut you're going to want to make. You're going to want to go to Windows, Attribute Manager, and then what is it? Right click this, or Load, Tool. Cause right now we have the knife tool. You're gonna want a loop. You're gonna want it right there. And I'm eyeballing this. Looks off. Uh, right about there. That's good. Doesn't matter. I don't need it to be perfect. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good, alright. Um, next thing you're going to want to do, if you want, this is just kind of showing you. I might make another video showing me making my other one. If you want to do that, then you're going to want to take uh, your extruded inner tool. This is for the headlights. Obviously, if you do it like this, it's not going to be symmetrical. So, and you're just going to want to extrude it inwards. I want about 37, was it? Okay, obviously not 37, but 300 something. Yes, yes, yeah. Um, I want to make a bumper. Pull knife tool, knife tool. So I'm going to loop around. 
That's good. <coughs> uh, oh yeah, all these lines are not gonna matter when you render it. All look fine. Extrude. Um, you're gonna want to shift click to grab all these. Actually, no, you just shift with the three front, and then you can just pull them out, extrude them a bit. Bumper doesn't need to be too big. Then you just shift click. I'm bringing it to offset is 5.5. I just want to know what the offset is because offset is right here. Yeah, so for these, I want it to be 5.5 too. I think. Yeah. 5.6, that's good enough. That looks pretty stupid. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. Um, well, that's all I'm going to do for the body, really. I don't really want to do anything to it right now. Next, you're going to need your wheels. I'm just going to use cylinders. You can drop a comment below if you want me to go into more detail on how I make the tires in my other video, but right now I'm just going to rush to do this and then show you the suspension and motor functions. Um, kind of having issues thinking of what I'm doing right now. I want to scale it. Size compared, yeah, it looks, looks alright. 